Hi, my name is John Krause with Tinius Olson. I've been uh, at Tinius Olson for 20 years, and I'm here to talk about hydraulic machines and our hydraulic line of uh, Tinius Olson testing machines. This is a 300 kilonewton SL, 60,000 pound capacity. We also have 150 kilonewton, which is very similar to this machine. What sets us apart from the competition is our piston and cylinder design. It's a virtual friction-free piston and cylinder with no O-rings, no gaskets, no leaks. And it will stand up time and time again. 60,000 pounds, you're breaking something. It's meant to take that, that fatigue. The competition uses load cells, which fit typically under this table and will, over time, fatigue and need to be replaced. This does have an adjustable crosshead that I can move up and down based on how much tooling I have in here. This would be a standard height of a standard 300 SL. This machine has three foot adjustable height. So you could have the, the upper crosshead mounted here and two more positions up for longer specimens. This machine, as well as the full SL series, can be configured the same way. So you can have hydraulic grips in the crosshead, you can have manual rack and pinion in the crosshead, or you could have hanging hydraulic grips attached to the crosshead. The software gives you the ability to, to get repeatable results between the machine being calibrated to tight standards, whether it's ASTM, ISO, the software will give you repeatable results ease of use with different operators. Different operators can log in as themselves. You have traceability to track any changes they make in the software. You also have network connectivity where you could have this reside on a company network. So anybody that has the privileges to log in and read the data or the test results can pull the data and format it in Excel where they want to uh, print a PDF of the graph. They have that ability to do that without having to walk down to the lab. It can also be shared company-wide. So a location in Pittsburgh can also share the results with the company in Houston, and they can make sure that their product is within spec. The 300 SL is a four column design, the 150, the 600, all the way up to the 3000 kilonewton machines are all four column design. One of the benefits of having the SL series machines is that you have a tension and a compressive space, which means for your tension, compression, flexure, bend, all those tests could be done without having to remove grips, which makes it more universal and ease of use. This have a furnace. This particular model also has an automatic extensometer, which will set the gauge length based on the parameters in the software, and you will run the test and it clamps on automatically. When the test is over, it opens up, you remove your specimen, it resets the gauge length, you put your next specimen in for high production lab use. Okay, I am going to be uh, running a test with the SL. And one of the things that uh, we have to do is home the piston. Now the machines automatically do this. And what that does, it encases the whole piston and cylinder in oil. And we read that oil pressure very accurately and very repeatedly. So right now I'm homing it. The piston is coming up off the bottom. There's no need to zero it out. It finds home exactly the same spot and I'm ready to put my specimen in. This particular machine has an AE extensometer, automatic extensometer. It will engage, stay on the failure, and open up after the test is done to give you your, your modulus, your stress strain, and your total elongation, all automatically. And now it will start to load and pull that specimen apart. So you'll notice here, the material starting to neck down. That's where it's gonna break. That's a good thing, right in between the gauge length. The specimen broke, the arms open up. Once the test is done, I, I can insert my next specimen and keep going 
under a high production environment. You can configure these grips in different ways where I can do flats and rounds just by changing out the wedges. The wedges take five minutes, if that, to switch out. Again, not having to take these grips out and put some sort of other tooling in its place. So I, I have that ease of use to just switch out the wedges and I have a whole nother test setup ready to go. A few minutes, you're switched over, you've got more height now and you're ready to go.